we're here. Well, we're not here here yet. We're gonna grab some food. Shake Shack. Cause he really is tall. Well, you can't see him yet. It's just his ass. We went to park, and then we're heading out after we eat. Oh, that's his ass again. There he is. So, hi. 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 <laughs> Just left Jake Shack. We were in there for about five minutes. We were in there for about five minutes. What did you rate it? I'll go eight. Eight. The price really killed it. Yeah. Six. Six. Price sucks in there. Everything's separate and some bullshit. And I, and I gives it a two. And I, you give it a two? Yeah, she, she did the, <laughs> the, the french fries and the barbecue sauce a lot. She kept dipping. She kept double dipping. Intricate with her dipping. She really liked to dip. She's all doing with the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to head... Uh, well, it's a surprise. I'll show you when we get there. We're walking through... City Walk. We have arrived. For the vibes. For the vibes, he says. We're about to have some fun. Yeah. Free drinks. Free drinks. For how much? <laughs> Yeah. We're almost there. Nintendo World. I don't remember it actually being this far to actually get in. But we're almost there. It's hot. It's not as hot as I thought it was. It's kind of hot. My phone's dying faster than it should. Uh, we're going down the Jurassic World. This place fucking sucks. Uh, they don't allow babies on rides, apparently. That says they're for kids. Um, so yeah. We went on one thing. The Kung Fu Panda thing. It's like an interactive, not an interactive, but one of those rides. You sit in a chair. I don't see the point. The babies can get in for free, but they can't get on anything. Like, there's literally nothing here. Maybe one, one thing. The silly fun land or whatever. But we're heading to get on Jurassic World. Some other stuff. It's fucking packed. More packed than it should be on a Monday. But so far this place sucks. Don't be nervous, just use your sister as a human shield. There you go, you got it. Now, if you weren't just joining us here at the Raptor Encounter, a couple of things to remember. If Blue gets really aggressive, which is possible, it's not what we're hoping for, but it's possible, she likes to attack. We're waiting to get on Jurassic World, the ride. Um, he's famous. Uh, this place sucks. Hopefully we get on the studio tour in a little bit, at least do something all together, besides Kung Fu Panda. Uh, feel bad that you can't get on anything, so we kind of have to take turns now, which blows. But uh, yeah, hopefully we get to do the studio tour, at least something we could all get on. And now we have to wait like four, it's like 40 minutes in line. Apparently nobody worked today or has school, so. But uh, it's a 40 minute wait. It's not that bad. Better than 20, uh, than two hours, I guess. 
And yes, my eyes are wandering a little bit. Very unwise to turn your back on me. You never know when I might strike. Talk. Waiting to watch. Waiting to watch Waterworld. Waiting to watch Waterworld. We're about to cross the imaginary boundary onto the back lot, where we have exterior sets for many outdoor scenes. Over the last 60 years, studio tour guests have seen these locations turned into big cities, quiet suburbs, even that guy's hometown. Yeah, that guy. For countless movies and TV shows. This is Universal's Metro Sets. So on your left, you can see our Metro Sets, part of our famous back. Don't put them on yet, but just put them in your hand because we're about to return to Skyline. All right, everybody, a quick reminder, let's please remain seated and keep our arms and legs inside of the vehicle at all times. We really put a lot of thought into the character. He's so much more than a monster. In fact, he's not a monster. You know, he is an incredibly majestic, ancient creature. He's a force of nature.
love with zombie movies and monster movies as a young kid. My world that I come from is skateboarding, graffiti, and comic books. You always have to be homage to where that art form started. And for me, it started with painting stuff in the street, and even, you know, tagging billboards and dumpsters. And without that, I never would be here using spray paint like this. Maybe it's not all that bad. How can I help you? What is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. On your left, you can see the all chocolate everything shop from the good place, and that purple alley is Flower Alley. Also on your left, the shop on the corner with the blue doors, that was the frozen yogurt shop that was just featured in that clip. Some cool movies have filmed here as well over the years, including Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean and The Curse of the Black Pearl. This was both Tortuga and Port Royal for that film. And this was also the fictional kingdom of Genovia in Disney's The Princess Diaries 2, A Royal Engagement. And on your right, the section of Little Europe is known as the Court of Miracles. It's where the angry villagers would often gather to chase away our movie monsters. Up and right next to us is the snack table that we call craft services. Oh, we're waiting for us to drive. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, for everybody, we live in Southern California. We get tremors all the time. It's nothing to worry about. Okay, this might be bigger than I thought. Hang on, it's about to get rough. imagine that being the case how many sharks in there possibly be in the ocean like oh boy oh this is not good they didn't get all the divers out of the water in time I bet they forgot George they always forget George hey George I don't know if you can hear me man but you gotta get out of there you're gonna get munched get Yikes. Rest in pieces, George. Yeah, that's all the proof I need. I think we can safely say there's a shark in the water. Let's please remain seated and keep our arms and legs inside of the tram if we don't want to lose them.
Bumblebee never... Is of course Bumblebee from Paramount's Transformers. Now you might be driving one of these picture cars late at night, you might be getting a little sleepy, you might want to pull over at a motel for the evening, hopefully you don't pull over at the Bates Motel. Welcome to the Bates Motel from Albert Hitchcock's classic 1960 thriller, Psycho. With Mother's House looming in the background. Alright everybody, we're about 15 minutes from the end of the tour. We're going to be returning to the theme park shortly. We're going to pull that emergency cord if you need assistance and remain seated at all times. Coming up on your left is Mother's House. This is the original house from Psycho, one of the most historic sets on the entire lot. So, one of the most historic sets to one of the largest film sets ever constructed, welcome to Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. You know, that is an actual 747 airplane that Steven Spielberg found in an airplane graveyard in the Mojave Desert. So, from Alfred Hitchcock to Steven Spielberg, Universal always attracts directors of a certain talent and caliber. That can definitely be said of Mr. Jordan Peele. We are now headed to Jupiter's Claim, the actual set from his hit 2022 sci-fi horror film, Nope. Movie magic only happens when a team of black members, often in the hundreds, work together to take an impossible move to bring it to the film. This is Jupiter's Claim. A nostalgic, small-time Southern California amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Jupe Park. Over there, look into the winking well and have your picture taken just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Sheriff. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. Remember that one? No? Why? Well, a little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience. Built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. It's not looking so revived anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy, gold of the frontier town, lies a sinister scene. It is smack dab in the center of the beautiful Godspell. For me, this place is creeping me out. Not you guys, though. You guys kind of kept your cool back there. I'm impressed. You know, I think you might have what it takes. I think you have what it takes to be in an actual movie. Now, luckily for you, we have some acting slots available in the new century of the Fast and Furious franchise, Supercharged. But before we get to it, a quick reminder. Let's please remain seated and keep our arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Please to meet you. Buddy Hobbs asked us to stash you to show up for a while. Brought you in our secret spot. All right, look, guys, we're gonna keep Shaw from finding you to keep you safe.
This is Agent Novak with an FBI alert about individuals who are not authorized to be involved in the witness protection operation I'm heading up with my FBI team. Be on alert for Dominic Toretto, an ex-convict who has broken laws throughout the U.S. and around the world. Despite his checkered past, Toretto and his crew were recruited by Agent Blue Cobbs to assist U.S. diplomatic security missions and was granted a pardon for the crimes he committed. I'm in Mario World. There's a kid thing right there. That all makes you good. That all makes you good. Know how to do it. Phones at actually eight percent. Exit. I'm leaving Universal. Trying to figure out our way out of here.
Okay, we're leaving Universal right now. That was fun. Probably the best way. Uh, the best, best, the best experience at Universal, I might add. Uh, what do you think? Good night. Uh, what a blip to be more family, family oriented. Yeah, that was kind of shit. But, uh, and they advertise like a the, lot of. It's like Panay said, more adult, adult like. Yeah. I was just thinking about like the pets. Nintendo World or something like that. Exactly. They advertise it for kids. I figured there would be a lot more kid rights. The website showed there was more kid rights. Exactly, that's why I said. I need to get out. Can't turn back to your. But hey, what'd you think? Is that your second time? Damn. It's kind of ass. Oh yeah, the event was cool. Yeah, the Waterworld thing was pretty cool. We didn't get fucking wet though. We sat in the soak zone. And we didn't even get wet. Some bullshit. Three, three times three, by the way. Three times, yeah. We didn't get wet on... Well, you know... You don't know how to fucking pay attention to the signs? It's California. Stupid. We went on Jurassic World. We didn't get wet. We got more wet with them spraying us with water than the actual drop itself. Oh, whoa. It was mist. We didn't get sprayed. It was a, yeah, I guess it was mist. It yeah. skipped our section when we were getting shot. Super soaker. Yeah. And then, uh, what else did we... I like the Jurassic I was like, well, the tram tour was cool. Oh, the tram tour was cool. A lot better than I expected. Yeah, the tram, tram tour was cool. We still had the classic Jaws. I expected it to be whack, just like who we expected the Waterworld thing to be whack. What? <laughs> I didn't. I've seen Waterworld. But I, was, I wanted to get wet. Like, like, why am I going here to watch a play? <laughs> anyway, we're, having, we're driving back now. We're going to go see Alien Romulus. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Uh, my phone's gonna die, so yeah. Benet was uh, thankful to, uh, not thankful, what's the word I'm looking for? Very nice to let me borrow a portable charger so I could charge my phone. So just a little update. Uh, we arrived at the movie theater. We're gonna see uh, Alien Romulus. Uh, this is like an hour drive. She's asleep. Precious. Real precious. Yeah, we're heading in. So, um, letting go as planned. Apparently, the movie theater is fucking stupid. They don't let uh, kids. What do you say? Kids rated under. Rated R movies after six o'clock. They don't allow kids in a rated R movie after six o'clock. But yeah. they allow them in before six o'clock, which doesn't make any sense. Right? Isn't that what I'm getting at? Yeah. That's what they said. So what does it matter if it's before six? He said his reasoning was, his loud noises and. They don't want to have to stop the movie because if she cries or something like that. Like, there was only like four people in there. I don't understand. At all. Like, what is the difference if it's six or nine? Do they want her to be awake? She's actually sleeping right now. So that ruined our night. Those guys, and they sold us the tickets. They s you seen that he was carrying uh, the ticket, whatever the ticket, the ticket guy seen that he had the baby with him. But then it wasn't until we went to go to scan the tickets that they made a big deal out of it. So 
Well, I sadly won't be watching Alien Romulus. They will go watch it. But, um, I'll have to wait. But maybe I'll go by myself. I don't know. We're gonna go get some dinner. And then, uh, yeah. That's his face. His angry face right now. We were all looking forward to the movie. And they denied us. Cancel your AMC subscriptions, people. Yeah, cancel your AMC subscriptions. Not worth it. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't see the problem with it. Trash. Especially when she's uh, she's passed out. I think it's right there. Uh, so we're gonna go to Lazy Dog and get some grub. Uh, That'd be good. Probably even <laughs> get drunk because. Pull me. It's over here. Uh, yeah. Hopefully it's good. Last time I chose a place, it was King Taco and Nexus and Nick didn't like it, so hopefully, uh, hopefully they like this place. They like a lot of trash. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so. Is that was their parking? I don't know what the fuck that was. So yeah, I'm letting you know what they think of Lazy Dog when we get done. I ordered a burger. I said no tomato, no onions. She didn't write it down. You know what she put on my burger? Some fucking onions. I love it. Can't really taste it on the burger though, but I, I hate the smell of onions. Just left a lazy dog. I got the all American burger with some fries. Got a trash burger. <laughs> Did I choose a trash place? But now you got the pot roast. What do you think of pot roast? It's not that bad. Not that bad, she said. Was it worth? I don't even know how much it was. Um, for the pot roast? Mm -hmm. Hers was twenty. Hers was the most at twenty-three. Most expensive. Yeah, but hers was also the fanciest of the three. Yeah. You got the bacon ranch burger. Yeah. How would you rate that? Man, that was nothing compared to Shake Shack. Best place ever. I'm just kidding. It was good. It was pretty good. Lazy uh, Dog's pretty good. It was messy. Yeah, it was definitely messy. Like, My shit was messy too. I'm uh, kind of picky when it comes to messy. I don't like, there's a reason at home I have towels. Yeah. <laughs> but I also like having the sink nearby so I can rinse my hands. No, but, exactly. That was good though. Yeah. It was definitely uh, tasty. Yeah, the burger was tasty. Fries were a little. He got the too, Cajun. Too Cajun y. Yeah, he got the Cajun ones. The, and I don't know what the hell the sauce was that they gave me. It wasn't ranch. Yeah, definitely. It was, it like, was more tolerable when they put the barbecue sauce with it. Yeah. Oh, I should probably make sure I plug it. I got the All American, just double patty cheese, cheeseburger. I asked for no tomato, no onions, as I said before. <clears throat> they put onions, and now I have onion smell on my fingers. For some reason. It's her Avenue one, right? Yeah. And then, um, it was good. I haven't had a burger from Lazy Dog ever. I usually get the salad or a burrito bowl, whatever, but. All right. The burger was bomb. Where's I'm going to go here? I think you can get out that way, too. You just go, just go right here. Leads the same way. This way, but we're heading back to the crib. Um, sucks that we didn't get to see Alien Romulus, but still a good day. Still a good day. My tummy hurts now, though. My tummy hurts. The burger was messy, real messy. But we walked a lot, I deserved, I deserved a burger. Now we're just vibing to the crib. Okay, bye.